Ukraine's UN ambassador has warned Russian-backed forces are planning to launch attacks on Mariupol. Yuri Sergeyev told Security Council delegations in New York that militants were planning to carve out a land corridor linking Russia and Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula. France and Germany requested the meeting to evaluate how the ceasefire was holding about two weeks after the latest Minsk peace deal came into force. What we are observing, we are observing a dangerous regrouping of the, uh, of the forces um, on the other side. And uh, we have uh, proofs uh, and a lot of the sus suspicions that the next target is Mariupol. They are not even hiding uh, this, uh, this next step. Not hiding that uh, the reason is to build the corridor. Representatives from the OSCE, the main organization observing events in Ukraine, told the UN that their monitors had witnessed a significant reduction of fighting in Ukraine. We indeed seemed to stand, to be standing at the brink of a full-out war in Ukraine just a few days ago. Today, we are actively engaged in de-escalation, which hopefully may become an irreversible process. The pullback of heavy weapons within two weeks aims to create a buffer zone in East Ukraine. Meanwhile, on Saturday, Ukraine's army spokesman said that no soldiers had died in the preceding 24 hours, although three had been injured on the front line.